Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I have got some pullets that I have raised up from chicks and I am going to introduce them into my larger hens. So I've got four larger hens and I've got quite a few little pullets. You can see they're kind of running around. They, I let them run around and um, free range uh, as much as I possibly can. But anyway, it's a, it's a very hectic time whenever you introduce your pullets in with your hens. So there's a few steps that I take in order to minimize any issues. And number one, by far the biggest thing you can do is let your hens and your pullets uh, from whatever age be able to see each other through a cage uh, or through a fence or something just so that they can see each other, walk around and interact with each other. So that is going to take care of 95% of the problems. They need to be there longer the better. So uh, I raised mine up from little chicks um, and then about the age of oh a month old something like that I put them outside and so that they can see each other through the um, uh, through the fence and so they've been looking at each other for you know at least two months so by far this is the best thing that you can do is let these guys um, look at each other through a fence they get used to one another and then when you introduce them it's not such a shock they know each other a little bit and so the uh, finding out the pecking order uh, it's not uh, as hectic as uh, you would think so anyway let me go over here and, and show you kind of where I raise the little pullets up raise them from from the chicks to the pullets and and so that they can see each other I've got a little small uh, area it's not real small it's like uh, about seven eight feet wide and about 20 foot long and that's where I raise the, the smaller ones so that they can be right there beside the hens and the hens can can look at them so anyways let's just take a look, quick look at it it's nothing fancy uh, but it gets the job done and it works excellent so let's take a look okay so here it is this is the little area that I keep I raise up the chicks uh, into pullet size uh, nothing fancy about it I've got some protection on top for hawks and you can see leaves kind of get gathered up in it and start sagging so you've got to kind of clean that off every once in a while but right through here here's some chicken wire and then the hens are over there they can see these chicks through this and so it makes the transition much much easier okay and the second most important thing that you can do is give the the pullets a place to run and hide put perches up so that they can fly up and and land on a little perch uh, they can run behind things uh, in order to get away from the uh, the hens that are after them so typically the hen will get after them the the pullet will run away and then it knows that the, the hen is dominant it's done its job and so then it'll stop right there whenever you uh, put the pullets in uh, with the hens if a hen jumps on the pullet chases them around don't worry about that it's completely normal behavior that's what they do they need to do that it's called a pecking order so you don't freak out about your hen or a rooster kind of jumping on one of the pullets just let it happen watch it now if you have a hen or a rooster that continuously picks on one or picks on everybody harasses them and will not let up you need to remove the aggressor and then that's where I'll put them in the, the little area where I raise the pullets. I'll take the aggressive one and put it there and then reintroduce them uh, after a while and see if that gets better. So you don't want them to pick on them uh, and to the point where you know they can kill them because uh, th they will do that sometimes uh, so you want to just watch for that. Picking on um, a younger one a little bit that's perfectly normal you just got to find the balance of what's normal and what is uh, dangerous it's quite easy to tell but you have to be observant you have to look at them several times a day just to see what's going on okay so let's go try to get these uh, pullets in with the bigger hens and we can kind of observe how they interact with each other there's far more pullets than hens there's uh, ten of them I'm introducing in with uh, four bigger hens now of course the hens they are going to be dominant they're going to show that and then the pullets will run away but yet there's a lot of them and that's another key thing is if if you have a lot of pullets that you're putting in with a smaller amount of hens they can't really focus on just one typically sometimes it does happen and then you need to separate them out but usually when there's that many they just kind of go from one to the other and not one particular one gets picked on also what you don't want to do is put um, small chicks in with uh, bigger hens they need to 
I think, at least three months old so that they can kind of handle themselves and not get picked on too aggressively. So make sure they're that, you know, three months old at least before you put them in. Okay, so I've got these uh, pullets in here. And you can tell there's there's a lot of little trees and little weeds that have grown up. And I kind of let that go because it attracts more bugs. And then also, I knew these pullets and stuff are going to be put in here. And that gives them a little bit of extra protection where they can kind of run and hide around this. I have got the, the pullets in. And the, the hens, they have come and kind of checked them out a little bit. But they are not showing any aggression. Because they have been side by side with them through a fence for two months so they are very used to them and see they have plenty of room to hide from the bigger hens and you can probably notice that there's not much difference between the bigger hens and the pullets you want them to get up to size to where they're you know really close to the same size the pullets are a little bit smaller i can definitely tell them they're a little bit smaller than the bigger hens that's what you want you want them to be pretty close to the same size and that's gonna also keep down on bullying a lot. Okay, so the hens and the pullets have been together for uh, several hours and there's been no aggression whatsoever. It doesn't even seem like they're trying to establish much of a pecking order. That is really good and 95% of that is raising them where they can see each other through a fence. I'm telling you that is the best thing that you can possibly do. There's nothing better. If you just introduce brand new chickens to your flock they will fight a lot more also like I said you need some perches uh, and some places for the um, smaller uh, chickens to run and hide behind if you have a rooster in uh, with your flock they're going to be a little bit more aggressive uh, so I don't have any large roosters right now but if you do if you have a full-grown dominant rooster he will be a little bit more aggressive uh, towards everyone so those are some of the main tips that i have anyways guys thanks so much for watching the video if you have any questions leave them down below and also please remember to like and subscribe because i'm going to have a lot more uh, videos on chickens and just things that we do uh, around here so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video